Hey guys, so we're working on Rob's 2002, trying to get it all finished up and get it ready to go to body shop and paint. And I uh, wanted to give you a quick walk around. So we fixed a lot of the rust that was in various 2002 spots. The next step was doing pour 15, which is a brush on application. Inside the frame rails, we used, let me show you this product. It's made by Eastwood. It's called frame coating. It's got a lead that attaches and you can spray inside the really hard to reach areas. And places that you can't do pour 15 as a brush on, we also use pour 15 as a tub coat or pour 15 in the spray form. And the results, well, I mean, we like it. We use pour 15 a lot. Typically we do two coats of rust preventive and that works great and then the next step is we're gonna go ahead and mask all this out and we're gonna spray in lizard skin now lizard skin is water-based so it's really easy to spray on just need air you mix it up pour it in there and spray it on uh, dries overnight and this uh, basically it's sound barrier gets rid of noise and heat and that's what we want once the car comes back from paint before we lay on all the parts we usually under throw in uh, 3m undercoating on top of that uh, lizard skin so you've got multiple layers of protection for your classic and that's really what you want, as you want it to last and outlast the factory stuff. And that's what, exactly what we did on this blue car. We had really good success on that. So we're going to do that on Rob's car. And we're also going to spray that lizard skin on the inside of his car. And we'll do the video on that next. Okay, finishing up taping this up. We're gonna go ahead and spray it in. Okay, we're done spraying. Let's take a closer look at what it looks like. Pretty good. It's still drying as it as it dries, it starts to get more flat. You can see in some of the spots, it's more flatter. And it also turns from blue to black, and that's how you know uh, it's starting to dry. Some of the areas it didn't really go too deep on, just because we're still gonna undercoat it and really we're just using it for the sound barrier, heat protection. But yeah, there it is. Kind of feathered it in over here in the engine bay. Um, engine bay is gonna get painted so we don't really need to cover that area, but do a little bit of uh, the wheel wells here and then on this side as well. Like I said, we're still gonna do, after paint, we're still gonna do undercoating so it's just all about protection and Inside heat spray. barrier and etc this was done last so you can still see some of the purple right there and as it's drying up like i was saying it starts to turn black really just did the main area up to the firewall there or the dash area rather but yeah all right guys have a good one. Till next time.